I've got a USB key of the 2015 version of Windows 10 for some reason because I'm too lazy to just get the newest Windows 10 burnt into the USB key and I'm gonna be mounting this Windows 8.1 ISO. Sources, install.wim, copy, go to our USB, sources, delete, and paste the new one. Oh shoot, this is gonna be slow, isn't it? Oh look at those speeds. Okay, this is gonna take ages. Suddenly we switched to an ugly camera view because I don't have a capture card. And we have our install.wim in there. I have made like a 40 gigabyte partition. If this even manages to work, it's gonna be a new. Oh my day! I'm not sure if the Windows update is done, but I could not care less. Sound for QXS trans memory. Boom. Press any key to boot from USB. Now, this is just gonna be the Windows 10 installer, but instead of actually installing Windows 10, it will install Windows 8.1. Hopefully without any failure like the Windows Vista one. As expected, the trackpad doesn't work in this installer. I'm just resorting to the USB mouse. I just want this to get installed. I don't care about drivers or any sort of functionality. No product key, Windows 8.1 Pro. 2014. Next, I accept. Next, custom windows install only. I bet this will fail. Looking promising so far, it reached a hundred percent. Oh my days. I celebrated too early. What? At least let me exit out of the installer. The windows updates won't stop. I don't know why it took so long to burn the ISO image, but I'm just going with a regular windows 8.1. Just directly burn it to the USB without any install.wim shenanigans, but I really don't think that'll work and I'm probably supposed to change the ISO, like use a different one, but most of them, if not all of them, are just from the internet archive, so the download speeds are horrendous and it's not very common that you find a torrent. So let's see, press any key to boot from USB. Okay, so we got our Windows logo, the loading wheel, and the setup screen and the mouse of course the trackpad does not work but then uh, of course the external mouse is working look at that 2013 uh shoot okay didn't think that part through all right we're good don't ask me how i managed to get through that part okay anyways boom boom next i'm pretty sure this won't work oh my days this seems like it could be legitimately working could have done this from the very beginning what the hell let's not celebrate too early windows logo spinning wheel windows 8.1 it is we got the fading animation again keeping in mind this is a laptop from 2018 the windows 8 like from 2013 okay this looks very promising which is just amazing finally a video that's not gonna be a fail hey look this seems to have actually worked and literally right now it's like 1 a.m anyways let's forget about that i am the one and only oh damn okay cool next uh customize no 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 next no 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 get finish we're setting things up for you you can get new apps from the store and now it's in this vibrant colors. Let's start. And there's our desktop. Windows 8.1 Pro build 9600 with this very stretched screen. So we go to screen resolution and we go to our native screen. Look at that. And there you go. It's uh, very smooth for, well, not having any display adapters and it looks hideous through this camera. There you go. Now that's a bit better. Look at that start menu. Device manager. Of course we have so many lacking drivers, trackpad doesn't work, and we got our generic display adapter. I bet we have no network, no connections are available. Of course, we need, an <laughs> need ethernet. Our bungus of a file explorer works. Well, duh. Obviously a very crippled install of Windows 8.1. Suddenly it's morning. That's always incredible i want to see the boot time of this windows 8.1 and i have the ipod touch 2g over here now i couldn't find the drivers because again there's no official supported drivers so maybe let's just start and there you go just nearly 10 seconds and we're already in the desktop in our dysfunctional windows 8 install there you go just everything pretty much opens up instantly probably due to the lack of drivers i really don't feel like plugging an ethernet cable even though i can and i have one and there's an ethernet port so there are our computer properties windows 8.1 pro windows is not activated 4 gigabytes of ram intel celeron m4000 with 1.1 gigahertz there's that just go boom 
and then type Windows 8.1. There you go. Put a nice old smiling face. And there we have an iPod silhouette guy. Green. Then we write King. Go blue. I'm blue. Daddy. Let's draw with a pencil. This. Put some blue. And then that is Sonic. Then we can save this shabam. Oh, it's a PNG. No bitmap. I want bitmap. Let's call it wallpaper made in Windows 8.1. Save. Where did I save it? Probably pictures, right? Pictures. Boom, set as desktop back. You have new apps that can open this type of file. There's this new photos app. Whoa, how revolutionary. And there you go. We got our brand new wallpaper. Should probably give a link to it, like either in the description or the pinned comment. Let's go like this very mac os Let's go with the high contrast themes no lines and colors flowers isn't that epic why does this look upside down but anyways let's compare this to the boot time of windows 10 restart yeah click i believe this is like the windows 8 logo not windows 10 maybe i should reset the time all over start Forty-nine seconds. Keeping in mind this is in an SSD. Like imagine this boot time in a hard drive. Meanwhile, Windows 8.1 takes around 10 seconds. Probably due to the lack of drivers. We gotta get our epic wallpaper. We copied over our video. Uh, okay. Hey, let me guys know if I should edit a video using Microsoft Clip Champ. Anyways, all right. You had your time. Time to nuke the partition. Boom. Extend. Next, 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 next. Boom. There you go. It's a bit appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.